This is the first part of making a pullout. You make the face frame that the pullout is going to come out through. And what this is, is a little base cabinet that's going to have a bookcase on top of it. And these pullouts will allow the shelf to be pulled out and then you can work on or put books on here so they'll can be out of your hands while you're taking them and putting them in the cabinet which will be above and to do this I made this about seven eighths of an inch thick and I actually glued pieces of seven eighths wood between the top and bottom piece so it would be perfectly rectangle instead of trying to cut out this rectangle on a bandsaw or something like that and then uh, I just have this as a sample where you can see that the pullout's going to come in and out and what I'll do is I'll line the back and the bottoms with felt that won't be seen so that when you pull it out it's very quiet and uh, functional and it's going to come out about to this area here so that it it, it will be able to uh, be supported inside you can see that's about four inches back three and a half four inches back and when I get done back up inside here on the top there's going to be of a support board so that it keeps it flat anyway this is the first part and then we'll we'll continue making this uh, the rest of it once I get the face frame built because what I need to do now is make the vertical pieces of this face frame here and then uh, get that put on and I'll actually will attach the face frame and then we can start putting in the side glides and getting that figured out the face frame is now made. I made it with pocket joining and I'll show you the back what it looks like. So this is the back of the face frame and it's made with the pocket joining screws. I use one and a quarter and the one and a quarter inch screws are what hold it together on all of the 90 degree angle joints and uh, they're just connected like that. And so now we'll attach it with with uh, glue and with the 18 gauge of uh, inch and a half nails. And then once it's attached, then we can start the process of fitting and making and installing the, uh, the pullouts. The cabinet is upside down and you're looking through the cabinet to the front back side and these are the spacers that I need to put in so that when the plywood shelf pullout is gliding on the bottom of the shelf, the top of it is going to touch these two strips and it will keep it from wobbling or uh, bending down in the front. And I've just got to get these guys attached here. But that's what it looks like when you have it upside down before we put any more parts on. This is a little better look at a just a piece of plywood. See how it's going to actually touch these supports here so that it won't drop down when the cabinets turn right side up. These are the pieces that the drawer bottom is going to actually set on. They are as tall as this area right here is right there that's the same line and so when I put the plywood bottom on it will line up with that so the pullout will be resting on that and here is the bottom here on on the other the other side see how it lays in there and that when you look at it it's a little bit below flush on the bottom of the rectangular cutout and then there you can see the glide on the top that will keep it from tipping. And there, that's the next step. Now I'm going to attach these parts. And you can see there's a little bit of a reveal edge right here on this part. And I'll put a little bevel on that with the table saw. This won't show because this is underneath when I flip the cabinet over. We're looking at the front of it right now. Well, what I'm doing now is cutting the pullouts. And so I have to wrap it out a corner of each end so that this is the part that actually goes through the rectangular slot 
in the face frame in this back part right here in this area right here that is what is to stop so the pullout doesn't go any further than three and a half inches and that's the horizontal line there the parallel line is three and a half inches in from this end and so that's what I'm doing now cutting them on the table saw take a minute cut them and then I'll finish up the inside of the corner here with the little jigsaw the blue tape tells me not to go past that when I'm pushing the board through and that's not to go past the three and a half inch mark right there and then also I'm leaving the salvage on here I'm not doing the jigsaw cut on it yet so it will help keep it true to the fence so I can cut both sides at the same time without having a problem or you needing to use a sled and just use your jigsaw to square up and finish the cut that you didn't cut on the table saw and it'll work real fine and then sand the edges and they'll be ready to put and test fit in the area that they're they're going to actually run in a little sneak preview of the pull out working we'll just go back and forth and it will go all the way out that far it leaves about 10 inches where it can go out and then once I put this bottom all the way across it won't do this trip like this so they're both in place and functioning now just like we want and now I'm going to go ahead and get varnish on them and I can put the bottoms in underneath these parts and then get it all put together and then when that's done I'll take and put a piece of oak trim on the front of it and so that will set it off and so when it's closed you'll see the oak trim against a painted face frame it look real pretty be real nice and functional and very useful so that's about 10 inches out there nine and a half ten inches it'd be at least 10 inches when I put the oak on the front like that and that will uh, be a nice little work surface for these pullouts and then once they're installed then it's just going to be cabinets until you go there and pull out the pullout and you go wow that's pretty cool just increased my space of, of useful utility area can't wait to turn it over and see what it looks like from the other side won't be long now that the pullouts are functioning I can put the bottoms in and uh, these are like a false bottom that's attached but before I screw this one down I'll just show you see the pullout up there and this just covers it and now the pullout will hit on the bottom of this as it slides and it won't ever uh, tilt too much it can tilt a little bit but uh, that's how this goes in this is the next part here before I turn the carcass back over and put on the oak uh, trim on the front of the pullout shelves. What I'm doing now is putting on the oak fronts. I've got a piece of a piece of one right here. And I've taken and used the router to make a little finger pull area. Kind of make it any way you want, but I just uh, did that so that when you pull on it from underneath, you can see See the finger pull area there and uh, this is glued on the oak and I've got it up a little bit on top so that it will cover that shadow edge and then this one's ready to glue on here you can see where I did the finger pull on the plywood also and so that's all done and it's ready to go on and and then I'm using the uh, the DeWalt 23 gauge micro nailer I'm using an inch and a half nails in it and they they just it's so cool when you do this because you just barely see the, the little dimple that it makes if you can get the dang thing to focus there but uh, just real small holes anyway oh well, everything's uh, nailed and then I've got it glued and clamped and then I'll be able to about 10 minutes take everything off then the next thing is to put the back on uh, get the back racked and squared with a piece of quarter inch paneling and then the only other thing I need to do on this lower cabinet is put another vertical piece in here and there so that it looks there's four four pieces uh, four compartments 
on each side and then I'll put a piece of poplar trim on the front of the plywood here and then this part be done and then we're going to build a cabinet above it two cabinets above it to hold all the books this finishes the base cabinet with the pullouts and the eight cubbies for books got the back on it quarter inch plywood in the back and then the pullouts are finished I made them just high enough it covers the shadow line and it gives you some workspace. Isn't that cool? And then you close them up and then it's all behind the scenes. But when you open it up you have about about 25 inches of space there to work with. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm gonna be able to put a lot of books in here. We got about a five foot upper cabinet that's going above it. And so there'll be a lot of books, be a nice little conversation area and a place together and do what you gotta do to read and have fun and do that type of thing.